So you want to travel to Mexico and stay 180 days, aka six months as a digital nomad. Well, today I am taking you on an adventure to get those 180 days to Mexico. What's up everybody? If you are new to this channel, welcome. My name is Salua. I am a full-time digital nomad. I have been for three and a half years and I share my adventures on my YouTube channel, but I also talk about digital entrepreneurship, digital nomad lifestyles and travel vlog. So if you like that type of content, please subscribe, like and share. All right, so right now I am in Tucson, Arizona and I'm planning to go to Mexico for the first time and my wish is to be able to stay six months. Normally, Americans, when they travel to Mexico, they can get up to 180 days without a problem. But recently, they've been tracking down on digital nomads, especially because there's so many reasons. Gentrification is one, but the other problem is a lot of people tend to stay six months in Mexico and then cross the border and back in Mexico. And then they just been doing this for years and they just don't bother to get the Mexican residency. So I guess that's the reason why they are tracking down on tourists and digital nomads so today I want to share with you my strategy on how to get the 180 days and to be quite honest I don't know if I'll get the 180 days because I'm still in the US but I've been doing a lot of research and a lot of planning and I'm very confident that I have all the documents ready in order to make it to Mexico and hopefully stay six months the first thing is I have printed everything that I needed to show at the immigration at the custom entering Mexico few tips I heard while I was doing some research is number one you do not want to go to the two major airports in Mexico which are Mexico City and Cancun so because of that reason I avoided to fly directly to Mexico City it's actually the destination I want to visit so what I decided to do is to fly in a smaller airport so I am going to fly directly from Arizona Phoenix and I'm going to land in Guadalajara Mexico and I'm going to be there for a couple of days before I take an internal flight to Mexico City. That way I can meet the custom in Guadalajara rather than Mexico City and hopefully have better chance to stay six months in Mexico. Other tips I heard is to dress nice, yeah, proper when you enter Mexico. You basically want to show that you have money to spend because the reason why you're traveling to Mexico is tourism. The other thing I heard as a tip entering in Mexico is to be able to speak Spanish or at least a little bit. So that way when you meet customs, you can try to make yourself understood in Spanish rather than speaking with them in English. All right, so then let me show you the paperwork that I have ready. And by the way, I'm gonna take you with me exactly on that tour from here to Mexico. And I'll show you if I get my six months as planned. All right, so the first thing I did is I print out all the documents. So I'm gonna tell you exactly what I have here. The first thing I have printed is my itinerary. I have detailed my itinerary to show at the custom and let them know where I will be, but I only wrote and booked for three months because I wasn't sure if I was gonna stay the 180 days and I didn't wanna book for six months. And to be quite honest, I don't know where I'll be uh, three months from now. Maybe I won't like Mexico, I won't wanna leave. So in my itinerary, I entered the date I enter in Guadalajara, how many days I I'm staying there and where I'll be staying and from there I'll be flying to Mexico City I also have my flight from Guadalajara to Mexico City so I'll be staying in Mexico City for three weeks and I have the information here and then from there I'll be taking a bus from Mexico City to uh, Querétaro from Querétaro I will then go to San Miguel de Allende where I will stay for a month and so all of the information is listed here so that way if they have any questions I actually can back it up with all my all my airlines and all my documents okay so that's step one number two I actually wrote a letter in Spanish but I'm going to read you what I wrote it's fairly small and it basically explain who I am the reason why I'm coming to Mexico and how long I will be staying and I'm asking for the 180 days actually I'm asking for 162 days because I didn't want to make it obvious and I'm hoping that when they see 162 days they'll be like okay I'm gonna just give her 180 days okay so here's what my letter is saying mi nombre es Salua Ibelin estoy viajando a México por la primera vez por turismo y para visitar a algunos amigos tengo un vuelo de regreso a los Estados Unidos 
Unidos de América el 31 de enero de 2020. 2023. Pues estoy planeando estar en México para 162 días. Cuento con una póliza de seguro médico que cubre el periodo de mi estancia en México. Al final de esta carta detallo el itinerario de mi viaje mencionando en dónde me quedaré, así como la información de contacto de en dónde me quedaré. So, that's basically saying, I'm going to be in Mexico, I have my itinerary, I have my insurance, which I'm going to show you in a second. I would appreciate very much if you could please give me 162 days to visit Mexico. Then I have my return flight. So you want an onward flight, because if you don't, that's also another reason why they might think that you might stay in Mexico and never leave. So this is my return flight. Okay, the next thing that is really important is your health insurance. So I partner with Safety Wings and I'm gonna tell you, if you are a digital nomad, a traveler, you need to have travel health insurance. This is massively important because they are going to cover you in case you get sick and God knows what can happen to you when you're traveling. So make sure you get your health insurance. Safety Wings is what I recommend. A lot of digital nomads are using them as well. They are professional and I have complete trust in them. So I highly recommend you use Safety Wings. I'm going to leave my link down below. So whenever you travel abroad, broad get your safety wing health insurance that is going to cover you in case you get sick and it's also going to cover you if you have covid and there's so much more so make sure you go on the website safetywings.com and get my link down below so once you get your health insurance make sure you print it with you so that way you can show it to them but also it's a good backup for you to have in case something happened to you and you don't have access to your computer you got it here so right now I think I'm prepared. I have everything I need to head to Mexico. I'm gonna leave in a couple of days and as soon as I get my FMM card, I will definitely let you know what they told me and what are the steps and how you can make sure you get your 180 days. I'm really excited to visit Mexico. I've never been. I lived in Arizona for years and I never crossed the border, so I feel like it's time. Okay, so drop off the rental, got my luggage, now heading to the gates. And so one quick tip, when you have so much going on as far as logistics, it's important to go slow so you don't make any mistakes. So come early. And now I'm heading to get my plane. Going to Mexico, let's go. Okay, so the first step, I'm here at the airport. They gave me these two to fill out. So one is the custom declaration. And the other one is FMM, which I've already done online, but to make sure I got it also written down and then we'll see. So they made me do this at the gate in the US before I'm barking to Mexico. landed we are in Guadalajara airport and now I am going to get a taxi and no luggage for me because I only carry on I am now gonna wait for a taxi to get to the hotel and I'll fill you in on everything once I am settled because I'm exhausted room I am exhausted I got up at five I had to drive two hours from Tucson to Phoenix I had to drop off the rental put gas in it make sure the house was clean and then I went to the airport flew to Guadalajara and took a taxi and here I am so give me a second to settle down and I'll give you the updates all right everybody so I got an amazing news I got my 180 days so Here's how it went down. After I arrived in Guadalajara, so first of all, I picked Guadalajara on purpose because it was close enough for Mexico City where I needed to go. And I was like, you know what? Maybe I can spend a couple of days in Guadalajara. I've never been, so I can experience. So I arrived at the immigration at the airport. And the first thing I said is, hola, in Espanol. And then I said, 
Lo siento, no hablo bien español. So she knew that I was trying to practice Spanish and I wasn't just directly talking in English. So then I showed up the letter. So the letter I showed you. Then she looked at me and she said, you want 162 days? This is what I put in a letter, but I really wanted 180 days. And then she asked me a question. She said, well, who are your friends? Because I gave her all my itinerary and I explained to her about my friends and that I was here to meet them and visit them. And then she smiled and she was really nice actually. And then she looked at me and she said, you know what? I'm going to give you 180 days. And I was like, oh my God, thank you so much. I'm so happy. And I tried to express myself in Spanish. And then she uh, put a stamp in my passport. So you no longer require to have an FMM card because back then you used to have to keep that card in your passport. But now you just need to show the stamp, make sure you double check the date of entry. And from that time you have 180 days or six months. So I was really happy and that's it. I came prepared. I told her I had all the documents and she didn't look at anything. She just read my letter and then we had a small talk conversation and then she gave me those 180 days. So I hope you will be able to get the same. I highly recommend that you follow those three things, which is don't go to a big busy airport like Cancun or Mexico City, rather go to a smaller airport like Guadalajara. Second, when you approach them, be very friendly and try to speak Spanish. And third, make sure you bring all your documents, your insurance card, your return flights and everything else. Even if they don't ask for it, it's good to have them. And that's it. And then you should be good to go. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye bye from Guadalajara, Mexico. Bye bye. <laughs>